Hi, boys and girls. We're going to continue with our Bible lessons today. And today we're going to read a story by the title of Abraham Obeys God. So we're going to start with a prayer. Please bow your head. Thank you, Lord, for being with us every day. God, thank you for the rain. Thank you for our parents. And, and uh, thank you for the, my students, Lord. I ask that you continue to keep them healthy and happy, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, today's story is called Abraham Obeys God. Abraham was a man who loved and obeyed God. One day, God said to Abraham, Abraham, I want you to leave your home and move far away to a new land. I will show you how to get there. Abraham told his wife, Sarah, and his nephew, Lot, we are going to move to a new land. God will show us how to get there. Abraham and Lot had sheep, goats, cows, camels, and donkeys. And we know how that would feel. They were probably so happy to be able to have all those animals, just like you would, boys and girls. So now they needed to go get some helpers, and they needed them so they could take care of their animals as they traveled on this journey that God told Abraham to do. So Abraham told all of his helpers to get ready to move to a new land. What a busy time. There were so many things to do to get ready for that long trip. The helpers filled water bags with water for the animals and the people to drink along the way. Sarah and her helpers packed food for the long trip. They packed pots and pans. They tied their clothes behind in big bundles. Finally, they all rolled up big tents in which they could sleep in. And then Abraham, Sarah, Lot, and all their helpers and all of their animals started on this long, long trip to a new land. Step, step, step. Day after day, they walked. They didn't have cars like we do. They didn't have any buses or any sign, any kind of transportation like we do. They had to walk everywhere they needed to go, or they would ride their horses. That was tough, right, guys? But they did it. Each night, they had to carefully unroll their tents and set them up. Then they had to roll them back up, put them on their back, and continue on their way. Every day they needed to do this. They didn't have hotels to check in and sleep overnight like we do now. They needed to carry their sleeping bags on their, on their back. All right? So that was very different, boys and girls. Then they... They had a very big job. It was really big, but you know what? They knew God was taking care of them. Finally, after many weeks of travel, God told Abraham, this is the place that will be your new home. Abraham, Abraham and his helpers unrolled and put up their tents. They unpacked all their bundles. They found places for all the animals. Then Abraham built a special place to pray to God. Abraham thanked God for bringing him and his family and all the helpers safely to the new land. So boys and girls, sometimes just like Abraham and Sarah and all of their, their helpers, you know, sometimes you need to move to a new place like some of you have when you came from a new place that you lived in. You were really comfortable with your surroundings, with your friends. But you know, sometimes God speaks to your mommy and daddy and he says, it's time for us to move. So it's good to have a good attitude when God asks you to do something. All right? So next time when mommy tells you, let's go somewhere or let's move to another house or Let's move to um, somewhere different where you're not used to. Well, 
Just remember Sarah and Abraham. They had a great attitude because they knew that God had a plan, just like God has a plan for you and for me. All right? So the worksheet that you're going to be working on is uh, talks about Sarah and how he obeyed. It's about them, right? So it says to draw a heavy load and color the picture. So you can draw a heavy load, meaning that, remember we talked about the tents that they had to carry and the backpacks they had to carry. Well, you can go ahead and draw a heavy load on Abraham and on the donkey, right? You can color it. Probably not too heavy load on Sarah because she wasn't probably as strong as the men. Have fun coloring them. On the back, it is, it says right here, trace the path Lot chose and color the picture. So it says, Abraham, let Lot choose the best land. So you see that? That's the path that God asked them to take. And he had a little help from Lot. So you see that little place right here? This is where they decided to unload their tents and camp there for a while, right? Until God told them to move again. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have fun and have a great day. Love you. And so does God.